Hello, everyone, and welcome to the City of Atlanta's virtual public meeting for Activate ATL, our brand new Parks and Recreation 10-year planning campaign. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll just leave uh, about a minute here before we start so that we can give everybody an opportunity to connect. Hello everyone and welcome to the City of Atlanta's virtual public meeting for Activate ATL, our brand new Parks and Recreation 10-year planning campaign. Thank you so much for joining us here today. My name is Tara Buckner, Master Plan Project Manager from the Department of Parks and Recreation. I'm here today with LaShondra Burks, Interim Commissioner for the Department of Parks and Recreation, Aaron Wiener, Landscape Architect for the Park Design Division, and uh, Kristen Caborn, the consultant um, on the consulting side, and Sabina Casamova, our colleague at Park Pride. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm passing it over to LaShondra Burks, Interim Commissioner for the Department of Parks and Recreation. Thank you, Tara, and good morning, everyone. My name is LaShondra Burks. We are here today to get to know you, your hopes and dreams for your Atlanta Parks and Recreation. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is a master plan and why should it matter to me? Well, master planning is a technique that is generally used to identify parks and recreation needs in the community, predict the future demand, and build a shared vision and framework for long-term parks and recreation system development. We've invested a tremendous amount of resources and effort into this public engagement campaign with the goal of hearing the opinions of more Atlantans than ever before from all ages, backgrounds, and zip codes, especially those of you we don't always hear from. After the workshop, please be sure to complete our online survey at activate-atl.com. This is the most important part and it will only take about 15 minutes. Listening to everyone will build a better parks and recreation system over the next 10 years. Let's take a moment to watch a short introductory video that shows some of the ways that Activate ATL will work to get your opinions and put them into action. Atlantans are resilient. As we weather these trying times together, we're reminded each day of just how precious recreational activities are with friends and family, how much of an impact parks and green spaces make on all of our lives. Through all of it, the City of Atlanta's Department of Parks and Recreation is here, continuing to serve you and your loved ones while planning for an even better Atlanta tomorrow. Our team is operating round the clock to continue serving meals to Atlanta students at our Centers of Hope program during school closures. Working hard to maintain our parks to ensure Atlanta's residents have opportunities to enjoy sunshine, breathe fresh air, connect with nature, engage in safe exercise, and see friends and neighbors in our parks at a safe distance as these opportunities are vital to our mental and physical health. But we need you to build a better tomorrow 
That's why we launched Activate ATL, Recreation and Parks for All, a 10-year planning effort that relies on learning about your unique priorities, needs, and perceptions to preserve what you love about your parks and recreation system and to grow it to make it even better. Our most important goal is to offer you access to safe, exceptional outdoor spaces and recreational experiences that serve your needs and ultimately improve the health and happiness of all Atlantis and all neighborhoods. But we need your help. We can only accomplish our dream of building a greater and greener Atlanta with you. Help us design a new vision for our parks and recreation system over the next decade. Fill out our brief survey or attend a virtual public input workshop to share your opinions and to activate ATL. Only together we can deliver the dream of one Atlanta, an Atlanta where we all have an equal opportunity to play, run, grow, learn, interact with nature and each other. Awesome video. Thank you again for joining us to Activate ATL. This workshop is part of a larger series of community input, and each workshop will highlight a different area of the city. There is nothing quite like discovering a new green space or learning about new recreational programs, and we want to support you in discovering all that Atlanta has to offer. Today's workshop theme is Southeast Atlanta and we will highlight a few of the parks and amenities in this area later on. Today is our ninth and 10th virtual public input meeting out of 12. Whoo, we almost there. But today's meetings will actually be our last virtual public meetings in English. Our last two meetings on July 18th will actually be in all Spanish. All recordings of our past meetings are available on Activate ATL YouTube channel, so you can always watch them again to share with your friends. No matter where you live, work, or play, we still want to hear from you and about all of your parks and recreation activities. For now, let's start by covering why your opinion matters so much on Activate ATL. Then we'll show you all the ways you can give us your feedback. We will be doing some fun live polling, so stay tuned for the details. We've also set aside part of this workshop for Q&A with Kristen, with Kristen Kayborn, the project manager on the consultant side. Please send us all your questions about Activate ATL now. We want to hear from you. We don't just want folks to answer our questions, but we want to answer yours too. You can ask us anything. For example, what is a master plan? Why does this matter to me? What will you do with my feedback from the survey and so on? Thank you again for participating. And now I will hand it over to Erin Weiner, who is with our Office of Park Design. Erin? Thank you, Lashandra. Uh, before we get into it, I'd like to cover a little housekeeping. Let's start by taking a look at our new project website for Activate ATL. We've got lots of information up, but if you only take one thing away from today's workshop, please take our online survey. It is the single best way for the city to gather information from you that helps to decide what our Atlanta parks and recreation offerings should look like over the next 10 years. You can get to our online survey from activate-atl.com by scrolling down on the homepage and clicking the link that says, take the survey now. There it is. Once you've taken the short survey, you'll be entered into a drawing to win a limited edition Activate ATL t-shirt and other fun giveaways. There's the shirt right there. We're streaming on a few different platforms today. We're on Zoom, we're live on the Department of Park and Recreation Facebook page, and also streaming directly on our project website at activate-atl.com. Please send us all of your questions throughout this webinar. If you're watching on Facebook Live, 
please send us any questions by commenting on the Facebook page on the live video to the right of the screen. If you're watching on Activate ATL website, please email any questions or comments to activate-atl at atlantaga.gov. We sent out this email address in the chat box. If you are using Zoom, please note that your lines are muted. However, that doesn't mean we can't interact in real time. Please take a look at the buttons on the bottom of the Zoom screen for the Q&A box and the chat box. If you want to ask us a question, click the Q&A button, type in your question, and click send. If you want to chat with us directly, send us a message in the chat box and we'll respond. Now, let's get activated. We have some fun videos to share. Some of our community members sent in footage to highlight interesting facts about Atlanta's parks and recreation. Let's check out one of those videos. My name is Sophia Borg. I serve as a community engagement director here with the Sarah J. Gonzalez Park, which is the first park in the state of Georgia to be named after a person of Latinx heritage. The park is also ADA accessible, has an ethnobotanical garden featuring plants from all over Latin America, and is located in the northwest part of Atlanta. Did you know that the city of Atlanta maintains more than 400 parks and green spaces, totaling 4,962 acres? That's a lot. A big thank you to all of the parks employees who work to keep these spaces for us to enjoy, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. They don't call Atlanta the city in the forest for nothing. Atlanta's urban tree canopy leads the nation. 48% of Atlanta is covered by an urban tree canopy, placing Atlanta above other major cities in the United States. Part of our goal for Activate ATL is to help maintain Atlanta's city in the forest status and protecting, growing, and transforming Atlanta's distinct landscapes into public amenities for all Atlantans to enjoy. The Department of Parks and Recreation organizes the city's parks and recreation offerings into four different quadrants, each with a plethora of amenities from outdoor courts to fields and pavilions. Today's workshop will highlight Southeast Atlanta. Southeast Atlanta includes neighborhoods such as Chosewood Park, Boulevard Heights, People's Town, Rosendale Heights, Summer Hill, Grant Park, and many more. Bessie Branham Park, Brownwood Park, Cone, Cone Park, D.H. Stanton, Eastlake Park, Grant Park, Roselle Fan, and South Bend Park all have outdoor pavilions. Arthur Langford Jr. Park, Chosewood Park, Thomasville Park, Boulevard Crossing Park, Benteen Park, Empire Park, and Harper Park all have sports fields. Four Corners Park, Lang Carson Park, Kimson Park, South Atlanta Park, and Windsor Street Park all have basketball courts. Have you been to the Southside Sports Complex yet? If not, be sure to check it out. Uh, Southeast Atlanta also has 11 centers of hope. Roselle Fan, Thomasville, South Bend Center for Art and Culture, Perkinson, uh, Arthur Lankford, Pittman Park, Brownwood, Grant Park, Dunbar, and Re Reverend John James Orange. Uh, and just an FYI, Centers of Hope High Performance Recreation Centers uh, offer enhanced youth development activities. Here we are looking at some of the parks and recreation facilities in Southeast Atlanta. Be sure to check out DPR's website for further information on the city's amenities. Now I'd like to turn it over to Tech Tara Buckner, who is going to tell you more about why we want to hear from you. Thanks, Aaron. Now let's talk Activate ATL Southeast Atlanta. I want to provide you with some background information about who is helping us, DPR, develop Activate ATL, 
how they're doing it, and how they will ensure that your input is reflected in the final plan. Activate ATL is a big effort because it will look at the entire system of citywide parks and recreational offerings. Public engagement for Activate ATL is being funded through a generous grant from a local philanthropy and spearheaded in partnership with Park Pride, the 30-year-old Atlanta-based nonprofit that engages communities to activate the, par the power of parks. Activate ATL will ultimately provide a 10-year vision for evaluating our facilities, programs, and services, acquiring and developing park land, and taking a closer look at our maintenance and operations, as well as our overall administration and management. Activate ATL will also identify important funding recommendations to help elevate Atlanta's park and recreation system into a world-class system. Taking the survey on our website at activate-atl.com will have a direct influence on the programming and activities that take place at your local recreation center and in parks. It will strengthen what Atlantans love about recreational activities in neighborhood parks and identify crucial opportunities for growth. So please be sure to take the survey. Equity is a driving force for Atla Activate ATL and is designed to further Mayor Bottoms' vision for One Atlanta, where all Atlanta residents will have equitable access to high quality parks and recreational activities that meet their needs and promote health, well being, and quality of life. Metro Atlanta is the fourth fastest growing area in the country. And while most of the growth is in the suburbs, there are estimates that the city of Atlanta could triple in population over the next 30 years. That means more parks and recreational users. The purpose of Activate ATL is to lay out a series of recommendations for the future of Atlanta's recreation and parks and to work to implement that vision over the next 10 years. The project team is right now reviewing all of the existing conditions of the Atlanta parks and recreation system. This includes things like availability, the quality and amenities such as, the quality of amenities rather, such as the playgrounds and the ball fields, the restrooms, benches, and everything in between. Taken together with your input from the survey, the project team will work to develop and create a plan that addresses your needs and the city's challenges. We will come back to you with this plan for a second wave of public engagement soon. Then we will confirm that we have heard you correctly and invite further feedback and input. In the meantime, please join our afternoon 6 p.m. virtual meeting and be sure again to take the survey. The online survey is only available through July 24th, so please fill it out before then. Based on the follow-up we hear from you, we will further refine to develop the, mat, the final plan, which will ultimately be presented to the City Council for review and adoption. Your ideas will help us decide what upgrades to invest in, what new classes to offer, and where to add new green spaces for you to enjoy. Now that that's a lot to remember, <laughs> it's a lot for me to remember, <laughs> but remember, if you have any questions about Activate ATL, please send them our way using the Zoom Q&A box, Facebook, or just email us at activate-atl at atlantaga.gov. Now that we've covered some of the background information about how we're developing Activate ATL, let's go to some polling questions. Get your phones and computers ready now. You can participate in the live poll by sending a text message to 22333 or by visiting us at poll ev, v as in Victor, poll ev, 
dot com backslash activate ATL 207 from any web browser. Don't worry, you don't need to download anything. Simply open up your internet browser on any device right now and head to pollev.com backslash activate ATL 207. All of our questions will sync here automatically, so all you have to do is respond with one tap. If you prefer to respond by texting, please start a new text message and you'll enter 22333 in the two line and write activate ATL 207 in the body of the text. You only need to send this text once to start the polling. After you send this one text to start the conversation, you can simply text in your answer each time you see us move to a new question. You won't receive a confirmation text after each response, but rest assured that your answers are being received. Answers will populate for us for us to see in real time. After 30 seconds, we will review the live polling responses to see if we can find any trends. If you have any questions or technical difficulties, please send us a chat message. Let's get started with our first polling question. Now, given the recent COVID-19 crisis, how has the importance of parks, trails, open spaces, and recreation changed for you and your family? We'll leave 30 seconds for responses to roll in. Don't forget, you can participate in the poll at pollev.com backslash activate ATL 207, or by texting the phrase activate ATL 207 to 22333. Just text in a letter and of your selected choice. Now all these polling questions are being recorded so we'll have some time to review them in depth afterwards as well. So now, given the recent COVID-19 crisis, how has the importance of parks, trails, open spaces, and recreation changed for your family? A would mean the importance has increased a lot, B, the importance has increased a little bit, C, no change, D, the importance has decreased a little bit, and E, the importance has decreased a lot. Wow, I'm, I'm seeing that uh, so far we have a lot of people saying that the importance has increased a lot, a little bit. You know, it's amazing how much, how, how the impact of green spaces have had in our lives, especially in the course of the last few months of course, with the COVID crisis. Parks and recreation systems like ours here in Atlanta can make a big impact on our health every day. Did you know that spending time in parks can improve you and your family's health? It's true. Interaction with nature is consistently shown to be one of the most effective medicines for warding off depression, stress and anxiety, improving mood, strengthening the immune system, promoting co cognitive development, learning capacity and restoration. During quarantine, safely exercising at a distance in your public park is an excellent way to improve your health. When it's safe, Atlanta Recreation Centers will continue to offer an incredible range of activities that you love. Now we've actually had uh, several questions about various amenities such as playgrounds, outdoor pools, and even courts when they will open up. And just a few weeks ago, DPR was able to open some of our amenities with limitations in place. These include the pool, the indoor pools, golf, and tennis courts. Our Office of Recreation also launched free virtual summer camp, which streams daily through Facebook and Zoom. 
Decisions for additional amenities, either opening or requiring a different course of action, will be based on data and in coordination with the mayor's office in alignment with the city's phased reopening plan. You can be sure to find the latest updates on DPR's website, as well as DPR's social media platforms. Now let's go back to some polling questions. On this point, let's talk about virtual programming. What type of virtual programming would you or your family be most likely to enjoy if we offered it? Would it be virtual nature hikes and tours, virtual summer camp, virtual fine arts and drawing classes, virtual fitness classes, or something else? Wow, it looks like there's a lot of interest in fitness classes and nature hikes. Oh, wow, nature hikes. Um, some interest in something else. Um, and we are recording and collecting that information of those other things. Um, some fine arts and drawing classes. I think the nature hikes and tours are continuing to, to, to grow. Wow, yes, we're really, really enjoying these answers. This, this is very helpful for us. Uh, this input is exactly what we need to improve our parks and assess where we can prioritize what types of programming DP, DPR can offer you. Now let's try a fun word cloud polling question. In just one word, what is your favorite thing to do at your local park and or recreation center? Walk. Walking is good. Walk, run. Yes, I like to walk and run. Observe. Uh, do different sports. Explore. Explore nature. Okay, baseball. Okay. Nature, nature, yes. Okay, okay, these are excellent, excellent answers. So thank you, thank you for that. So we wanna do our best to make sure that these are always available to you. Did you know that the Atlanta Department of Parks and Recreation puts out a catalog four times a year that describes all, all the centers of hope, seasonal events, after school programming, summer camps, classes and activities you can enjoy and participate in. It's true. From golfing to arts and crafts to Zumba and even pickleball, there are so many diverse and affordable activities that are offered that engage everyone from our youth to our seniors and everyone in between. You can register for these classes at iParks on the DPR website. Giving us your opinion can help us identify neighborhoods that have the greatest need, helping us invest in programming and assets that will benefit the greatest number of residents. Together, Let's activate ATL. And with that, I will pass it over to Sabina Casamova, our colleague uh, from Park Pride. Thank you, Tara. And thanks again so much to everyone for joining us today. As a reminder, if you have any questions at all about activate ATL, please send them our way. If you're using Zoom, send them in using the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. If you're on Facebook, send us a comment using the comment box to the right of the video. Or if you're watching on the Activate ATL website, email your questions to us directly at activate-atl at atlantaga.gov. We will answer all of these in our live Q&A session happening shortly. There are so many ways to reach us and tell us your opinion. We have actually created and mailed out a survey to more than 8,000 City of Atlanta households at random, and we will use those results when we create our plan. 
If you happen to receive a letter in the mail, please do us a huge favor by responding to the questions and sending it on back to us. The same input can also be provided by completing our online survey at activate-atl.com. Have you heard about the online survey yet? I'm just kidding. Of course you've heard about the online survey, so I'm gonna say just one more time. Please, please, please be sure to take the online survey at our website because that's the single best way for us to hear directly from you. And as an added bonus, if you complete the survey, you will be entered into a drawing when a limited edition Activate ATL t-shirt that looks just like this one. So we are very, very excited about the t-shirts. We came out great and we look forward to be able to share them with you. So we hope you'll complete the online survey and you'll be entered into a drawing. If you're a winner, we'll notify you by email by August 1st. So good luck. Um, so now, instead of just talking about gathering your input, let's see and hear some more of it. In our recent call for interviews, we asked you to send us your videos to tell us about your favorite activities in parks, green spaces, trails, and at recreation centers, and what you want to see and do in the future. So let's take a look here now. What I love about parks and trails is the peacefulness, the tranquility. Um, it's analog. I can slow down all of the stimulus and just hone in and focus on, on me. Uh, an opportunity to just relax my mind and, and, um, and be peaceful. because it's free fun and I come here with my friends to play basketball. My favorite activity to do at a park is play with my dog and throw the frisbee. I am a big runner and I love being active, getting outside, running a lot. So I would say really expanding our running trail network, that's something I would love to see in our parks. I think the glass half full part of the pandemic is it has given us time to kind of think out of what we usually would do and take advantage of the great parks that the city of Atlanta has. There's a lot more than we even realized. Um, basically, it just helps me get out the house and do something else for a change because before we didn't really have time to do this, so it's kind of new for us, but it's fun. I had no idea that the Office of Recreation offered these types of activities like kayaking, doing karate, uh, Zumba classes, and I think for me, I want to check it out as soon as this pandemic is over. The best park in the world would have to be intergenerational. You have to have something for senior citizens to down to mothers with infant babies. I love coming out to Cascade Springs because it's a chance to be out in nature right within Atlanta. And it's also a great opportunity to see people in the community sitting out and reflecting and just enjoying nature. I love seeing that. Join me to activate ATL. Juntos podemos activar Atlanta. Activate ATL. Join us to activate ATL. Amazing. We are so, so, so appreciative of everybody who took the time in to send us a video, and especially to our youth who make up such a huge majority of our parks and rec users. And we definitely want to make sure that their needs are met too. So, speaking of specific parks, let's do another polling question related to this. So, thinking of your local park, how would you say that you feel about your local parks and or the recreational activities offered? Are you very satisfied? You love them? You wouldn't change a thing? That's option A. Option B is just satisfied. You enjoy the parks and or activities offered. 
C is unsure. So and again, as a reminder, please send us any questions at all and we'd be happy to help you uh, figure out anything. Uh, D is dissatisfied. They could be improved and or more interesting activities could be offered. And E is very dissatisfied. You would change lots of things. So in either case, whether you're very satisfied or very uh, dissatisfied, we are super happy that you're here because we want to know all that we can about what we can do to improve your experience and to make Atlanta's parks and recreation even better. So currently, I see here that the majority say that they are satisfied. We have, let's see here, we have 42% say they are satisfied. 31% um, say they are dissatisfied. So that's actually pretty close. 15% um, love them, wouldn't change a thing. And another 15% are unsure. So again, please let us know any questions or if there's anything we can do to help you clarify. Um, I see here that now the majority says they're dissatisfied. So again, we're so, so happy that you're here engaging with us today and sharing this feedback and this input. Unless we hear from you, you know, we don't know exactly what needs to be improved and what we can do to make your experience the best that it can be. So this, this is great. Thank you all so much for your responses here. We actually have very exciting news, speaking of local parks and programming. We have just released our brand new app called Happy Feet-Atlanta Parks, so Happy Feet. And we are super, super excited about it. It's a, totally free for download and use. It's now available in the App Store for iOS and Android. So not only does it include a ton of information about Activate ATL, how you can contact us directly and links to our online survey, most importantly, it allows you to send us all of your feedback about specific parks and amenities. Now that can be everything from a specific bench to a specific piece of playground equipment. And what you can do is you can send us photos and you can send us videos and feedback about what that specific amenity is so we can know what's going on and figure out what we can do to improve upon it. What you can do here is you can actually type in your feedback, you can upload a photo or a video or both, and you submit it to us. So we will receive those responses in real time and review it. And all of this feedback will also work to uh, go into the project plan as well. So we really, really hope that you'll download Happy Feet and give it a try. It is such a great way for us to hear directly from you and to see exactly what you're talking about. We're super excited and we hope you enjoy it. We definitely look forward to hearing from you. So now let's jump back into our polling questions here. Earlier, we had talked about the importance of understanding needs and priorities for facilities and programs. So this next polling question is related to parks and recreation amenities. Amenities are any desirable or useful features in a building or place. So here, this can refer to the availability of green spaces, sports fields, recreation centers, and more. So from this list, please write in any order up to three amenities that are most important to you and your family, but could be better provided. Maybe there's only one option that really jumps out at you, or you have two or even three. Please let us know. Um, just we ask you don't pick more than three so we can help assess what three are most important. Um, so I see here we have a vote for sports fields. Responses are rolling in now. DCNA, so that is outdoor play spaces, natural spaces, trails and sidewalks. So same thing, ACD. Again, they don't have to be in any particular order. Uh, if you do select F, please send us the details. Other is always an option. We want to know all your feedback about everything that you want to share with us. So please just text us in or write in those options. We definitely have been noticing a trend with trails and sidewalks. Option A usually has been coming in. So seeing a lot of consistencies here, it seems that the top three are A, trails and sidewalks, C, natural spaces, D, outdoor places, Spaces. Oh, and we got a response, trails and natural spaces, parking and sidewalks. So that is great feedback. Another vote here for trails and sidewalks and natural spaces. This is great. Thank you all so much for providing these responses. Pet area. We definitely want to make sure our furry companions are well taken care of too. 
Um, we have, yeah, a, a lot of these responses are coming in with the A, C, and D, trails and sidewalks, natural spaces, outdoor play spaces. So this information is all fantastic. Thank you so much for responding here. We have another question that's very similar to this one, just different options. So again, we're writing in any order up to three amenities that are important to you but could be better provided. So here the options are A, sports courts, and that could refer to, you know, basketball court, tennis court, etc. See, we got a vote for outdoor pool already, option E, so that's exciting. On um, sports fields is like baseball field, football field, soccer field, so we did get one of those as well. Um, for both sports courts, sports fields, and indoor recreation spaces, that's option C. So that could be indoor soccer, indoor squash, tennis, basketball, et cetera. Um, I know it's a uh, summer in Atlanta, so I'm sure we're gonna get a ton of votes for pool. So we already had three responses come in a row here for voting for outdoor pool, so that's great. Also indoor pool, restrooms. Again, thank you so much for sending that feedback about your other selections. That's really helpful for us to know. I think it's been uh, five in a row with outdoor pool on there. So it's definitely heating up every day, huh? <laughs> we have um, sports courts, indoor recreation spaces, sports fields. So there were a couple votes in a row for both sports court and sports fields. Indoor pool, this is great. We'll leave a few more moments here for the responses to finish rolling in. A couple more votes for pool and indoor recreation spaces. Community gardens, I love it. That is a fantastic response. Thank you for sending us that feedback. So awesome, we have just one more second here. We have outdoor pool, indoor recreation spaces, sports courts, so this is great. I would say today, definitely noticing a trend for pools and also sports courts. So this feedback is awesome. Again, we're saving all this, we're gonna review it. All of this will work to inform the final plan recommendation. So we have another question of a similar nature, but this one is actually related to recreational programming, which is great, very fitting science stations for kids to learn about nature, I love it. So again, other, always an option. We love to hear all your ideas and great feedback about the great programming that DPR could offer. So here are some options we provided is A, wellness and fitness programs. So that could be Zumba, yoga, Pilates programs. Option B here is aquatics, so that could be a learn to swim program. C is sports program, so like basketball, soccer, et cetera. And again, other, always an option, please send us details. So here we have actually already two votes for wellness and fitness, so that's great. And also equally, wow, three votes each, three for wellness and fitness, three for aquatics. And then again, if you select D, please send us those details. Nature and scouting, I love it. Got a couple votes here for sports as well. So that's fascinating. I would say almost every response so far has had wellness and fitness selected. Sports and aquatics. And all fits, right though? All of these is definitely good wellness and fitness, but sometimes you would just gotta do a good yoga class too, so. Dance, I love it, that is awesome. Dance classes. We've actually uh, definitely tune in to the uh, free virtual summer camp on DPR's Facebook page. You'll see that there has been some awesome dance classes going up on there. So we hope you'll check that out too. So here we have wellness and fitness, nature stuff. I love it. It's fitting with our one from earlier, right? Good nature programs is a great idea. And A. So I would say that's been our... Um, Number one response so far is the wellness and fitness, and we've definitely noticed a couple of things about community uh, uh, gardening and community service, which is fantastic. So this information is so, so helpful. We have another question actually that's just like this, so we can move on to that one. Again, this is the same type of question, just a couple different options for recreational programming here. So in any order, up to three that are most important to you, but could be better provided. So here we have summer camp programs, option A. B is visual and performing arts programs. C is nature programs, and we've already received two votes for that, which is great. Uh, D, community events, and E is other, so please send us those details. See here we have actually the visual and performing arts, awesome. So far, I can already tell we've had numerous selections for nature programs, so definitely noticing a trend there. 
and also a couple for community events too, but visual and performing arts as well. Oh, we love we love seeing the other, but please, please, please send us those details so we know exactly what it is you're talking about and we can do our best to hopefully make that for you. CNB depends on the parks, definitely. And you know, definitely understood that a lot of this feedback will be specific to the local park that you attend. So understanding that this plan will work to address the entire citywide system of parks and recreation, but we definitely understand that your lens will be through a few local parks that maybe are your favorites that you love to attend. Nature programs. So I would say yeah, most of these responses have had nature programs in there. So that's awesome. And outdoor concerts as well. I love it. That is fantastic. We have a visual, a couple of votes for visual and performing arts as well. So these responses are fantastic. Thank you so much. All of these amenities and programming needs are super important for sure. But here is where planning becomes just a bit more difficult. While all of these needs are obviously very important, we unfortunately cannot address them all simultaneously. So it's really important to prioritize what the public believes needs to be addressed first and foremost. So this question helps us address some of these priorities. It's unfortunately the last question that can't be completed by text message, so we did save it for last. Uh, a reminder, you can complete all these questions at pollev.com backslash activate ATL 207, no download required. This is a ranking question. So essentially, you are ranking these following priorities from most to least important. So they're organized essentially by building new or fixing what is existing. So here your options are build new parks and outdoor recreation facilities or fix existing parks and outdoor recreation facilities. Would you build new indoor recreation and performance or cultural centers or would you fix existing indoor recreation and performance or cultural centers? Would you build more walking and biking trails or would you expand on existing walking and biking trails? So, oh, I see we have a couple ties here. Very interesting. So I see in first place, fix existing parks and outdoor recreation facilities. That is awesome feedback. Uh, second place here, we have tied, build new parks and outdoor recreation facilities and also expand existing walking and biking trails. So very interesting. Um, fourth place is, oh, that's interesting, there's no third place. <laughs> um, so got a couple ties here for sure. Uh, fourth place is build more walking and biking trails. And then in fifth place, we have build new indoor recreation. Oh, we had a change up. So now let's see here. We have um, first place is still fix what's existing in terms of parks and outdoor rec. So that is great. Second place, expand existing walking and biking trails. Um, third place is build new parks and outdoor rec. Now we have a three-way tie for third. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Definitely some changes here for sure. But I would say that that has also been a trend I've been noticing. Usually in the first few places um, is a plan fixing existing and also expand existing walking and biking. So that is great. Third place also fix existing indoor recreation centers. So this feedback is awesome. Fourth place, build more walking and biking trails. So I would say that that is definitely a trend here. The first three options is to fix and expand upon what is existing. And the last three options is building new. So this feedback is amazing. Thank you so much for your engagement here and participating on all of these great questions. Um, Honestly, everything that we hear from you today and on the online survey is going to make such a huge difference in how we invest in all of the city of Atlanta's parks, open spaces, and recreational programs in the decade to come. So we cannot thank you enough for your engagement here with Activate ATL. I'll pass it back to Tara Buckner for our live Q&A session. If you have any questions at all about your parks and recreation activities, about participating in Activate ATL, or any other questions at all that haven't been answered, please send them our way. You can use the Zoom Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen. You can comment on the Facebook Live video to the right of your screen. Or you can email your questions directly to us at activate-atl at atlantaga.gov. Thank you so much for engaging with us today, and let's work together to activate ATL.
Hey, thanks, Sabina. I'm here joined with our colleague, Kristen Caborn, who is the project manager for, from the consultant team side. Please know that we cannot develop this plan without your input. We want to make sure that all your questions get addressed so we, and we'll do our best to make sure that we get through all the questions. But if we're not able to answer your question, email us at activate-atl at atlantaga.gov and a project team manager will follow up with you. Uh, let me just say, Say again that um, filling out the survey is really important for us. Um, we will enter your name into a drawing and um, you will get a chance to, um, to possibly win this wonderful t-shirt. I don't know if you have yours on um, as well. Okay, yay! Woohoo! So, and we have some other swag as well. Um, so, uh, please, please participate. Tell your friends, tell your family. Um, and uh, again, if you um, join us with our Happy Feet app, that's, that's uh, perfectly great as well. Um, if we don't get to your question, I'm, I'm getting ready to, to start the questions here, but if we don't get to your, your questions, please activate dash ATL at Atlanta GA. Uh, dot gov. That's our email address. Uh, and we will have a project team manager um, follow up with you. Um, last thing before I start with the questions, um, if you have immediate issues, please don't think because we're planning for the next 10 years that you can't get your immediate issue addressed. Um, you can uh, also, um, in addition to our activate dash ATL email, you can send that immediately to Parks Customer Service. That's P-A-R-K-S as in Sam, Parks Customer Service at atlantaga.gov. Or again, the new Happy Feet app. Um, we will uh, gladly take your concerns and we will happily address them. So um, moving forward, Kristen, are you with me? Yes, I am, but famously I was muted. <laughs> I'm yay, here. Yay. Good morning, everyone. I'm getting better at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so thank you again for, for joining us. Uh, and thank you for being our consultant. Um, here is our first question. How will maintenance issues in parks be incorporated in the master plan? Maintenance of existing recreational facilities and for green spaces, including tree care, water erosion, or water, sorry, erosion issues, et cetera. So we, um, the city of Atlanta, we do have a maintenance email address. I'm gonna go ahead and give it online and then maybe we can also type it in the chat so everyone can see it if they need it. But it's parks and that's plural. Parks Customer Service at Atlanta GA, all one word, dot gov. So that's Parks Customer Service at Atlanta GA dot gov. Or we really, we really hope that everybody downloads our new Happy Feet app. It's really cool. We showed you all the screenshots. You can go in and you can pull up a specific park and you can leave comments. And that way it'll get right to the planning team. But again, as we mentioned earlier in the meeting, we want to be sure that there, if there's any immediate maintenance issues and things like that, that they get into the queue immediately. The one other thing I want to let you know is we are, our team is visiting a lot of the parks and looking at the conditions of them as well. So through the planning process, that's one of the things that we do to understand the existing conditions and get a baseline for how the parks look today to help create the vision for the future, especially with the eye towards equity. So, um, please, by all means, send us your specific information, but know that we are on the ground and taking a look at our uh, taking a look at it ourselves as well. So, and thank you uh, for that answer, Kristen. Um, in addition to your um, uh, on the uh, looking at parks right now, I believe you're also looking at the uh, plans as well as a part of that existing conditions. Um, you want to talk about a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. Part of the way that we start our planning process is to look at all the existing planning work that the city of Atlanta has done 
in the recent past to help us understand what's already in the queue and to take time to understand all the efforts that's been put into previous planning efforts. So as our knowledge base for the entire project forms, we are looking at that type of information. We also look at budget. So whatever we look at that Atlanta has already planned and has in the queue for planning, we can understand how the city plans to spend money and invest its resources. And that way, with, as we're moving forward with creating the vision, it can be a feasible vision. We don't want to create a vision that is um, not implementable for the city. So we spend a lot of time looking at that and doing that balancing act. Thank you. And so we have a question that is specific to Southeast Atlanta. Um, it is, what are the plans to improve existing public pools uh, in Grant Park? This, this needs more maintenance and improvements. We love to get specific questions about specific parks as part of these meetings. It really helps us to understand what's going on in your area. Um, right now, we are in the listening phase. So we are listening and hearing what everybody has to say. So definitely make sure that you send us feedback on the pool. We love creative ideas and would love to hear if you wanna email us some of your specific ideas. For the pool, I know that she mentioned, um, actually, I'm not sure if it was a woman or a man, I apologize, um, who submitted that question, but we know that you mentioned that you need more maintenance and improvements. We'd love to hear from you specifically what you would like to see there. But I also wanna mention that part of taking on a citywide planning process is that we wanna ensure equity for um, all of the parks and recreation facilities and programming across the city. So I mentioned that balancing act earlier that, that we're doing. When we look at pools, for instance, we will look at all the pools across the city and we want to establish that all of them are meeting the basic intent for serving the community. So that's something that's gonna be very important. We know that the city residents really value your access to water and access to your pool. So we're gonna make sure that all of them are providing at least the same level of expectation when it comes to facility condition, as well as programming that's desired by the community around that pool to make sure that you know, we're, we're there. And then beyond that is when we can start to look at creating maybe some more regional larger aquatic facilities and things like that. All of that will come out in the planning process and we really look forward to hearing some more specifics on what you might think um, you'd like to see at Grant Park in the future. Thanks Kristen and you know Atlanta has a ton of play lots, um, you know mm -hmm. places in, in neighborhoods um, that um, they just have a, a play lot beautifully colored, a uh, place for little kids to play you know, how will those smaller parks and specific parks um, be addressed in the master plan? That's a great question, Tara. And something that, you know, the, the small play lots and the small, what we might call tot lots or neighborhood parks or even pocket parks, really become the beating heart of people's neighborhoods. That's where the kids may go to play down the street for a little bit of time. It might be the first freedom that they get to go out and do something without their parents. So we want to look at how those are spread out across the city. We want to make sure that the condition of those is safe and that they're maintained well and that they are accessible safely. So we start to look at people's ability to walk there and to get there um, on purpose and make sure that all neighborhoods who want to have something like that within a walking distance from their house have the opportunity to plan for something like that in the future. Okay, thank you. And so um, we have um, some questions regarding um, the individual uh, plans for parks. Um, again, back to, I think, the conversation about neighborhood plan units um, and how, how we address those in the master plan. So the question is, how will this new master plan affect existing individual park master plans that have been ad adopted by the city? Will they be coordinated? So yeah, definitely that goes back to what we were saying earlier and that all of the individual park master plans that have already been created are part of this planning process. So it's great because we get to visit them, we get to look at the budget for, revisit the plans, we get to look at the budget for them and really honor all of the time that, and the planning efforts that were put into these in the past. So we get to look at those and integrate them into the project 
and maybe some of them need a fresh look. So we're, we will do that as well. Okay, thank you. And I think we have time for, um, let's see, uh, let's see. Is there a way to offer parental classes of some type? Cooking, dancing, computer lessons, social, emotional class, um, yoga, parenting classes. Absolutely, and I do want to emphasize as we're talking about that question that this is a that this project is recreation and parks for all. And we don't want anybody to ever forget about the recreation and the programming end of it. So a, a huge, at least half of this project is looking at recreation and looking at the programming. So not only do we look at the spaces where recreation programming is being provided, but we also look at the area around that space, any community center, any pool, and we wanna make sure that that facility is providing the types of programming that the residents who utilize that facility would like to see in that facility. So um, for the person who sent in that question, please make sure you email those suggestions in. If those are the types of classes that you'd like to see and programming you'd like to see, send it in and tell us where you'd love to see it. That would be a huge help for us. We'd love to hear specifically from you. And that's part of the reason why we like to do these meetings by area so we can start to drill down into the specifics of what would make you happy in your neighborhood. Okay, well, uh, thank you so much for, for your questions. Um, just a reminder again, for those of you who are concerned about uh, immediate issues, they can be addressed at Parks Customer Service at atlantaga.gov or the Happy Feet um, Atlanta Parks app. Um, and just a reminder, um, we want you to, com to complete our survey. Um, and um, try to win one of these really cool t-shirts. They really are cool. Um, so again, I wanna thank you for, uh, for your questions. Um, we are so appreciative of all the voices we heard today. Remember, if we missed your question, please send it our way by email um, or, um, and email it to activate-atl at atlantaga.gov and we will reach out to you. One more time, please fill out the survey. Please fill out the survey. Okay, that was two more times. Activate-atl.com. Um, it will only take, it'll probably take less than 15 minutes. We're saying 15 minutes. Um, and it's only available through July 24th. If you complete the survey, again, you'll be able to win some swag. Uh, we'll let everybody know by August 1st. Uh, as a reminder, this is the ninth of 12 meetings, virtual meetings that we are hosting. Uh, the next one is this evening at 6 p.m. And then the last two we are hosting on Saturday the 18th at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Those will be run in Spanish. Uh, so we would like you to, again, tell your friends and family that we are asking you about your parks and the recreational activities that are available in your community. Your opinion today will help define the next 10 years in Atlanta's parks and recreation system. Thank you so much for working with us at Activate ATL. Uh, don't forget to tell your friends and family and have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay well, Atlanta. Thank you. Thank you everyone so much for joining us this morning. Have a great rest of your day.